In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus CuSO4, calcium chloride plus copper 2 sulfate. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So to balance the molecular equation, I can see that it's already balanced. So we don't have to do anything there. That's kind of nice. Next, we write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chlorides are very soluble. So we're going to AQ. This is going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve in water and split apart into its ions. Sulfates, in general, they are soluble. So this will be aqueous, with the exception of calcium sulfate. This is one of the sulfates. It's only slightly soluble. That means a little bit of it will dissolve. For net ionic equations, we consider this to be insoluble. So these two react, creates an insoluble compound. We have a precipitate. We have this solid falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Chloride's very soluble, AQ. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So calcium, group two on the periodic table, that forms two plus ions. The chloride ion is one minus. So we have calcium, the calcium ion, Ca2 plus, and I'll write the states later, two of these chloride ions, two Cl minus. We don't know the charge on the copper, it's a transition metal, but the sulfate ion, the whole thing, is always two minus. Good one to remember. So the copper has to be two plus. So we have our copper two ion, and then we have that sulfate ion, SO4 two minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to call this CaSO4, calcium sulfate. Keep it together. Plus, we said copper 2 plus, and then the negative here. So we have copper 2 ion again, plus we have two of these chloride ions, just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. So I can see here in the reactants, we have two chloride ions. And then in the products, again, we have two chloride ions. Those are spectator ions. We'll cross those out. We have two copper ions in the reactants and again in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus CuSO4. I'll clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus CuSO4. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a two plus and a two minus. Net charge is zero here in the reactants. In the products, this is a neutral compound, so net charge is zero. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus copper two sulfate. Thanks for watching.